Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, we already studied four equations of motion, right? If you remember, V equals yes, sir. U plus AP. That is S equal to uh, U plus V divided by 2 into T. S equal to UT plus half AP square. V square equal to U square plus 2AS. Okay. Now, Please remember, these equations are applicable when the body's velocity is changing. That means it is having an acceleration. This equation we will apply when there is acceleration. Or we can say velocity is changing. Okay. But there will be some situation, inshallah, in today's creative, we are going to see such situation when we will see that for a particular time, the velocity of a certain body is not changing. Okay, so for that situation, which equation we can use? Okay, remember there is only one equation when you will get to know that the body is having uniform... Excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, can you speak a bit louder? I am speaking louder, but I think due to my Actually, the voice perfect. is not clear to us. Yes, yes sir. Your because you are, uh, when you are near to the board, your voice is not that clear. Okay. <clears throat> I will try to speak as much louder as possible. And let's see. Actually, many times I have seen in my recording. The voices are clear, but sometimes the students, you know, uh, complain that they cannot hear me clearly. So I think this is an issue with that particular student's internet connection or their net speed. Something. Okay. So as I was saying, uh, when the velocity is changing, that means the velocity is not uniform. Okay. When the velocity is changing, we will have acceleration. And when, when we have acceleration, we can use this four equation. Okay, to solve the numerical problems. But in creative, you will see that it will be mentioned for a particular amount of time, a body is not changing its velocity or it is running with a uniform velocity. So whenever they say uniform velocity or constant velocity, which equation we can use? The equation we can use to calculate the distance covered is S is equal to VP. Now this equation from where it came, inshallah, I will be explaining it to you, okay? Let us see. <clears throat> we already know that we have this equation. I will write it S equal to U plus V divided by 2 into T. Now here you can see that what I said, the velocity is not changing. That means the initial velocity is same as the final velocity, right? Initial velocity will be same as yes, final velocity. Sir. If the body is not changing its velocity, then the initial one and the final one, it is going to be same. So if u is equal to v and we replace it over here, s will be equal to, let us say, instead of u, I have replaced v. So v plus v divided by 2 into t. Then it will be 2v divided by 2 into t. Then if you cancel 2, then what you are going to get? s is equal to v into t. Clear how this equation came? There is another way that I can show that this equation is true. Inshallah, I will show that. But before, uh, confirm me that you have understood this derivation. Whenever we are having uniform velocity, we will apply this formula, S is equal to Vt. So are you convinced that we can apply this formula? Yes, sir. Can you explain one again? Uh, Alif has raised his hand, OK? So kindly, how you understood, then give thumbs up. Okay, so you want me to explain again. Alif, you have a question to ask me. How how u is equal to v? Because I'm saying the velocity is not changing. A uh, car is running. Okay, it's a free road highway. Okay, so the car is not changing its velocity. It's not accelerating. It is not decelerating. We know that accelerating means the velocity will increase. Decelerating means the velocity will decrease, but neither of this is happening, okay? The car is running at a constant velocity. That means if I say that the car is now running at 100 kilometer per hour and this velocity is not changing, 
neither it is going to 100 100 to 100 no nor it is going down to 99 98 97 the car is running at constant velocity understand the velocity is not changing yes, sir. so if i say that for you know 20 second the car was running with same velocity that means at the beginning of 20 second the velocity if it was 100 after 20 second it will still be 100 because i said that velocity is not changing did you get my point yes sir yes sir give thumbs up okay so if it, if this is the case that velocity is not changing then we can consider the initial velocity will be equal to the final velocity which i have written here you already know that u if this is considered or this represents or denotes the initial velocity and v this denotes the final velocity and when the velocity is not changing the initial and final both the velocity will be equal to each other so in this equation u has been replaced by v because u is equal to v and this is the case of uniform velocity remember we cannot use this formula s equal to vt when the car is accelerating or decelerating only when the car is experiencing a uh, uniform velocity we will we can use this formula okay remember this will help you a great deal in solving the numerical problems okay many times you will see that you don't know which equation to use but you will see that for that portion they are saying uniform velocity so without thinking twice we apply this formula inshallah the problem will be solved we will see that okay Achha. and as i said there is another proof of this one this is one proof i can show it in another way let me explain that one too okay you saw that i have proved this equation from the second one right i can prove it from the third yes, sir. One. So from the third one how we can prove i will show you the third equation goes like this s equal to ut plus half a t square now if the velocity is not changing can you tell me what is going to be the acceleration Sir, non-uniform. Uh, yeah, I am. Wait, that is. Uh, if the velocity is not changing, then acceleration will be zero. 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 It will be zero. Yeah. The question is why it will be zero. If you remember, acceleration is equal to v minus u by t. The rate of change of velocity. That means if there has to be acceleration, there has to be change of velocity. And here I am saying that the velocity is uniform, velocity is not changing. So mm -hmm. if velocity is not changing, then the rate of change is zero. Also from this equation, I can prove it. See, if I'm saying that the velocity is not changing. Same with the constant of a nuclear car. Everyone please mute yourself. Okay. So if the initial velocity and the final velocity is same that means the velocity is not changing i'm repeating the same word again and again so that it gets into your brain into your heart in your kidney liver everything okay please so the initial velocity will be equal to final velocity when the velocity is not changing or we can say the velocity is uniform or you will see that the velocity is constant it will be mentioned in the question okay so for such cases we can consider the initial velocity is equal to final velocity so from here, you can see that if I change this u to that side, it will become v minus u is equal to zero, correct or not? So if v minus yes. u is equal to zero, then it will be zero divided by t is equal to zero. That means the acceleration is going to be zero. Uh, theoretically also, th this, this one I have showed you mathematically that the acceleration is zero when it is uniform velocity. But theoretically also we can understand from the definition of acceleration itself, what is the definition of acceleration? The rate of change of velocity. So if there is change of velocity, then only there will be acceleration. If the velocity is uniform, it is not changing, then there will be no rate of change. So the rate of change is zero. In other words, the acceleration is zero. Okay, I'm going a little bit faster because I want to uh, make the best use of the class time. Okay, later you can you know uh, replay the video and hear properly what I'm saying, okay? Pause here and um, what I'm saying and then think, okay? Then, okay, so acceleration is zero. If acceleration is zero, I can put it over here. See, S is equal to U. This U can be written as V because U is equal to V. So I will write VT plus half into acceleration is zero into T square. 
no matter whatever you multiply multiply with zero it will become zero so zero into whatever is there it will become zero so ultimately this equation will become s equal to vt did you understand sir can you explain again which part yeah me too no no um, no no this part, one no. yeah this, this one. part sir yes yes, yes sir. okay yeah. so here on left hand side we have s i have written s. yes then there is equal sign i have put an equal sign then we yes. have u into t u this one can be replaced by v do you agree yes yes so u is equal to v so instead of u i can write v over here so ut i can write as vt any objection no no sir. and we have plus so i have put plus then we have half so we have put half then we have acceleration a for uniform velocity i have showed you the acceleration is equal to zero so instead of a i have written zero over here can i write it yes so yes we can i have written t square so here we have zero and other things are multiplied with it zero into anything you multiply doesn't matter how much big the number is 1 crore into 0 is equal to 0 i hope you know that anything you multiply with 0 it will become 0 yes so here the next line i can write vt okay plus everything will become 0 so anything plus 0 it actually doesn't change anything so from this line i can write s is equal to vt do you have any doubt now no sir no sir no sir, no, sir. so this is another proof of this equation that for uniform velocity we can directly use this equation s is equal to vt now why we will use this equation we will use this equation to calculate the distance traveled okay when there is acceleration yes. to calculate the distance traveled we will use this equation but when the velocity is not changing no acceleration that time we will use this equation remember this is what we are going to use to solve the creative that uh, I, i sent you picture of okay so let us see <clears throat> uh, sir in uh, like if it, if any questions comes at find the uh, uniform velocity we will use the formula v x v uh, equal to s equal to vt directly no problem if there is uniform velocity then definitely you can use this formula s is equal to vt now let us say they told you to find out the velocity they told you to find out the velocity the distance is given the time is given so from here v is equal to s by t okay t is multiplied if you change the side it will become s by t so in this way you can yes no problem in this way you can find out the time also if you want you can find out the time so time will be is equal to v if you change the sign it will be s divided by v okay yes okay. yes sir time will be in seconds ah uh, yes actually it depends on the unit of v and s okay if velocity is r excuse me sir I can only hear you, sir, but cannot see your video. No, I is that. For this reason, sir, I cannot ask any doubt. What? Let too much close, sir. You need to understand. Samir, Samir. Oh, Samir, sir. Did you see me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What did you say? Andhkar, sir. Andhkar, sir. Don't say anything. मैंने हटात कर आस्ते से सर आवाज चले जाते से वीडियो अब अरे 6 सेकंड जने वीडियो आते है जाए नो नो क्लियर आछो ना वीडियो फोन ताले की करा जाए एते बोल दे बार पे पर वीडियो को देखे नहीं है ठीक है सर रिकॉर्डिंग दिस अब दो छोटू को पारो क्लास में एकटू कंसंट्रेट करो सर हम नहीं आ पाते जी ना ठीक है যারা যারা দেখতে পারতেছো না যারা যারা শুনতে পারতেছো না কাইন্ডলি এখন কমপ্লেইন করে কোনো লাভ নাই বিকজ আই ক্যান নট ডু एनीथिंग अबाउट इट আমি যতটুকু সম্ভব আমি তোমাদের জন্য একটা ওয়েবক্যাম কিনছি এন্ড সাউন্ড সিস্টেম যেভাবে যেভাবে সেট করা সম্ভব আমি সবকিছু ঘেটে 
বেস্ট পসিবল ওয়েতে সেট করছি এর পরে যদি কেউ শুনতে না পারো বা দেখতে অসুবিধা হয় তাদেরকে আমি শুধু এতটুকুই বলতে পারবো ক্লাসের পরে যখন রেকর্ডিংটা দিব ইফ ইউ আর রিয়েলি ইন্টারেস্টেড দেন রেকর্ডিংটা দেখে নোট নিয়ে নিবা এন্ড যদি কোনো क्वेश्चन থাকে এখানে তো মনে করো যারা সরাসরি দেখতে পারতেছে শুনতে পারতেছে তারা डायरेक्टली क्वेश्चन জিজ্ঞেস করতে পারতেছে বাট তুমি পরে দেখে যদি কোনো क्वेश्चन আসে ডোন্ট থিং দ্যাট ইউ ক্যান নট আস্ক WhatsApp নাম্বার আমার তোমাদের সবার কাছে আছে তাই না আমাদের গ্রুপ আছে আস্ক क्वेश्चन ওভার देयर or request me to repeat this topic in the next class i will try to clear it in whatsapp through a voice message or anything possible but if i cannot clear it in whatsapp inshallah in the next class at the beginning i will try to discuss the topic again and then move on with the next topics okay etai ami tomader ekhon korte pari er theke beshi ashole amar kichu korar nei karon keu keno dekhte parcho na seta ami ekhon ekhan theke boshe kibhabe check korbo to shobai jodi dekhte na paro then that's an issue বাট আমার মনে হচ্ছে এখানে অনেকেই দেখতে পারতেছে জাস্ট অল্প কয়েকজন এর জন্য স্যার উই ক্যান সি স্যার আমরা দেখতে পারতেছি আপনাকে জি স্যার আমরা ভিডিও দেখতে পারছি সো নাও লেট আস সলভ ক্রিয়েটিভ নাম্বার 13 আই হ্যাভ গিভেন ইউ 13 এন্ড 14 ইনশাআল্লাহ দা টাইম अमाउंट दैट वी हैव लेफ्ट ইনশাআল্লাহ আই উইল ট্রাই টু ডিসকাস এট লিস্ট 13 and 14 if possible if not possible then 14 it will be assigned as a homework okay then 13 number a car starts from rest whenever they say start from rest that means the initial velocity is equal to 0 because it was at rest okay so with constant acceleration see they did not say constant velocity they said constant acceleration that means a is there okay for 2 meter per second yes. they also give the value a is equal to 2 meter per second square for 6 second time after that it moves with constant speed je jinish ta amra ei matro shikhchi thik ache majhe majhe bolbe je kichu koner jonno tar acceleration chilo kichu kon she constant speed e jacche to kon part er jonno calculation kibhabe korbo seta amra ekhon shikhbo bhalo moto acha ए और बी ते जगह आसे ना से गुला मूलत डिसकस करी ना बिकज एग्जे थिटिकल क्वेश्चन हमारे लेक्चार आज है थिरो लेक्चर गुला दीसी से गुलाडी कावर हो जाए तो सी और डी टा मूलत डिसकस करब ठीक है तो सी ते जो बोलते से क्योंकुलेट द डिस्टेंस ट्रावल्ड उथथ कन्सटैंट एक्सिलारेशन तो कन्सटैंट एक्सिलारेशन जो पार्ट से ही पार्ट नहीं क्या करब ठीक है कन्सटैंट वालोसिटी एन देखो ना तो सी एर थार्टीन एंड सी एर की की इनफरमेशन लागे Okay. At first, we need to list up the given information given initial velocity. Initial velocity u is equal to zero meter per second because they say it starts from rest. Then, uh, with constant acceleration, acceleration, comma a is equal to two meter per second squared. And it runs for six second in that way. Time p is equal to six second. Then they are asking what is the distance traveled? Okay, distance traveled. Uh, okay. Distance comma s is equal to how much? So you know that there is acceleration, and when there is acceleration, four equation we have which we can use. So what are those four equation? V equal to u plus a t, s equal to u plus v divided by two into t, s equal to u t plus half a t square, v square equal to u square plus two a s. Now we have to choose one of them. The greatest question that the students face: which one to choose? They are confused. Which one to choose? The way of choosing the equation, inshallah, we will learn now. ओके चैप्टर मध्य कौन टाइप लाइक होगा देखो फर्स्ट तो तुम्हारे देखता होगा तुम्हारे की कैलकुलेट करते बोल से तुम्हारे एस कैलकुलेट करते बोल से ताई ना तो एस कैलकुलेट कर ले देख बार जो सेकंड इक्वेशन है मध्य एस आसे थर्ड एवं फोर्थ ए इक्वेशन है मध्य एस आसे ठीक है सें এটা ক্যান্সেল সবার আগে ক্যান্সেল এরপর আমরা দেখব যে মানে সেকেন্ড ইকুয়েশন এটা ইউজ করা যাচ্ছে কিনা তো সেকেন্ড ইকুয়েশনে আমাদের এস আছে এস আমাদের ক্যালকুলেট করতে হবে সো এসটাকে আমি কি করব সার্কেল করে ফেললাম এই এসটা ক্যালকুলেট করার জন্য 
বাকি যে কোয়ান্টিটি গুলো লাগবে সেগুলোর উপরে আমি টিক মার্ক দিব ইফ ইট ইজ अवेलेबल আই উইল পুট টিক মার্ক যদি সবগুলোর উপরে টিক মার্ক থাকে দেন দিস ইকুয়েশন ইজ ওকে ফর ইউ টু ইউজ ওকে তো আমরা দেখি আছে কিনা সো এখানে দেখা যাচ্ছে ফার্স্ট আমাদের ইউ লাগবে ইউ কি আমাদের अवेलेबल यस জি তাহলে ইউ এর উপরে জি এরপর দেখো ভি ভি কি अवेलेबल আমাদের এখানে ভি লাগবে ভি কি अवेलेबल देखो তো প্রথমে আমাদের লাগবে হচ্ছে ইউ ইউ ইট ইজ নন তাহলে ইউ এর উপরে টিক মার্ক দাও টি টি ইজ নন টি দেন উই উইল यस 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 দেন উই উইল नीड এ অ্যাকসেলারেশন এ এ ইজ देयर এ ইজ নন यस দেন টাইম টি ইজ অল নন ইয়া অল দা কোয়ান্টিটিস দ্যাট উই ক্যান ইউজ আর নন दैट मींस দিস ইজ দা ইকুয়েশন दैट উই नीड टू यूज रेशन इज हाउ मच Two. So it will be two into t square times six seconds. That is six square. So zero into six, it will become zero plus half two. Two they will cancel each other, and it will be six square means thirty six. So zero plus thirty six is thirty six meter. So that is your answer. <coughs> is it okay? Yes, sir. If anybody have any doubt, you may raise your hand. Nobody. Mashallah. Okay. So let us move to the next one. On next time, I will see. I am question. Did you score? I mean, ah, no doubt. Ask me. No. Why? 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 D number says that if the car traveled the whole distance mentioned in the above path with constant acceleration two meter per second square, what would be the total time? Okay. Now before I actually solve this one, this D number I am actually willing not to show it today. Rather, I'm, I want to show you something else. Okay. Let us say the question told you to calculate the total distance covered throughout the journey. Let us say the question is calculate. the total distance covered okay so if they tell us to do this then how we can calculate for such type of problem i always encourage students to draw a diagram not a proper diagram that you have to draw a car and something no not like that just draw a diagram like this okay here we started with our velocity zero we started from rest right and what happened for first 6 second this is 6 second time okay the, within this 6 second there was an acceleration acceleration was 2 meter per second square right and after that the question said if you look at the question they said after that it moves with constant speed 
for one minute. That means the time here, it is equal to one minute, one minute equal to 60 seconds, right? So this is six second time. It has started with uniform, uh, sorry. Um, it has started from rest and with an acceleration, but here it will have a uniform velocity. So for this part, I will write uniform velocity or constant velocity, whatever you write, it is okay. Okay, understood. Now we need to calculate what is the total distance. Okay, for this, the distance covered, we already know from C that for the first part, the distance covered is 36, but how we can calculate the distance for here? Okay, for let us say this is S1 and this is S2. We need to calculate S2, right? If you want to calculate the total distance, you already know S1, you need to calculate S2, then only you can add and find out the total distance covered, right? So we need to check how we can calculate the distance covered, okay? So as I already said, if they say uniform velocity, which equation you need to use? S is equal to VT. VT. Okay. So S is equal to V into T. Now, what is the velocity over here? Do you know? No. No, no. 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 How about that? Okay. We need to calculate F. That means we must know velocity. We must know time. We know the time. That is 60 seconds. Yes. We do not know what velocity. But there is a way that we can calculate it. Okay, please listen to it carefully. If I can calculate the final velocity of the first part, see the velocity was zero, then the velocity was increasing because there is acceleration, right? So the velocity will increase, 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 and at some certain point after six seconds, it is stopped increasing. So for the first part, if I can find out the final velocity, that is the velocity for the second part, correct or not? Yes. yes. Yes, sir. Think again. Think again, okay? This is very important to understand. Even though you said yes, you agreed, but I'd like to repeat it again, okay? I will say, think. If I can find out the final velocity for the first part, that what is the velocity at this point? After that, that velocity did not change. So if I can find out the final velocity for the first part, I can use it as the velocity for the second part because that velocity did not change. After this point, the velocity did not change. So if I, my target is now to find out the final velocity of the first part, which I can use as the velocity for the second part. Clear? Anybody disagree? Yes, sir. No. Okay, great. Janakal Firdaus, she is too early for the next class. Okay. So S equal to VT. So our target is to calculate the final velocity of the first part, okay? So for the first six seconds, for first six seconds, oh, first six seconds, okay? Initial velocity is U, acceleration, we already saw it was six meter, two meter per second square, and time it was how much? Six seconds. So we need to calculate the final velocity for the first six seconds, right? So V equal to U plus AT. If you look at these quantities, you know, directly your eye will go to that. V equal to U plus AT. Yes. You know, I am already... Yeah, this... so yes, you, become, you know, uh, when you practice more and more, inshallah, this will automatically come to your mind looking at these quantities, which is something you need to V equal to U plus AT. So V equal to U plus AT. E, e, you, um, initial velocity that is zero, acceleration it is two, into time it is six. Six. So it will be 12 meter per second, right? So I got the final velocity, which is started from zero, then the velocity increased, 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 and it reached 12 meter per second at this point. After that, this velocity did not change, okay? So we can use the value of V over here, okay? Because in the second part, this velocity continued. Nice. Oh, we can write. Okay, oh, S2. So this one we are mentioning as S2, right? The distance covered in the second part and the velocity we found out over there that is 12 into, uh, now the time. Time for this one, let us mention the time as 
T1, T2, so that it does not cause any confusion, okay? T1 is the time taken for the first part, and T2 is the time taken for the second part. So here it will be T2, right? S2 equal to VT2. So T2 is 60 second. So 6 into 12, that is 72. There is a zero. So we will put one zero. Oh no, not second. We are calculating distance, the unit of distance, meter. So in the second part, it will cover 720 meter distance. So they have told us to calculate the total distance covered. So let us say total distance from a S is equal to S1 plus S2. The distance covered in the first six seconds, the distance covered in the next 60 seconds. So total in 66 seconds, how much distance they have covered? 36 plus 32. It will be the 6 meter answer. So this is your answer, okay? This is what my target was to show you today that, you know, they will say, okay, there will be different, different parts of journey that in the first part of the journey, it had acceleration. In the second part of the journey, it, it had constant velocity. And then in the third part of the journey, they were decelerating. So for each part, we can calculate the distance separately and then add them up to get the total distance covered in the full journey. Understood? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, yes, you got S136. You got this one from C, right? From C. Okay. Sir, uh, shall we write this in our notebook? This creative? Obviously, these things are very important. Very important. Motion. Okay, and sir. Motion. And the second creative also, sir, as homework? Yeah, second creative as homework, we have to write in our notebook. Second creative to mother homework, but let me inform you, do not be disappointed if you cannot solve it. Amar, to mother target eta na, the tomb right amaga solve for the DP hobby. Ami to mother homework is on noidi, so that to me question the deco, it any issue on think or think or a jaja to me monocoro, it jas six or two thing. Put a use for a solve for a try curva. To the solve na hoi, no problem. Tomb right a parar kothana. Tarpuru de perezo, good. Na parle disappointed or kisone. Mother homework, it is solved for Mother homework would say it and yet think or I don't get a try for If you do that, that's enough. Umratoman could solve the solve not for three party. Tell you the country think for lamb, was a check on the think for lamb, try for lamb, solve for a kila bulo. A knife package of the tumic hoshanado, sharp nakoro, tile it as the economic to cut the easy hovena. Negative way, brain you put it, Gosha Kokon Kurve, Jokon to me think or Bakonoviso. To me, don't actually need to think or Bak, brain the knife to the river Gosha Kurve. It will be sharpened. It a sharp hobby. Among Shetan, but Jodi to me, Glenny, a basket, it will become blunt. Banglamba will be Mota Vejave. So Mota Vegale, it a Mota Hana surface to it at the Kata than easily creative. Because I hope Metaporta Gustavasa. Sir, up next on Jetta Corson, Uta dear answer, right? No, it a dear answer now. It a dear answer now. Dear answer to Kumabasek or a tri-corvenshala. Okay.